Greetings, Eric Backer. Thank you for coming back. This must be video 1000, probably close to 1300 now. It's amazing. So, how do you know the Candida cleanser is working? What are the signs? How? What are the indicators? How do you know? It's not hard to know. I had a patient yesterday on Skype, a follow-up patient, and it was interesting because many of his peripheral symptoms were getting worse. His skin itching was getting worse. He's got itchy scalp. You know, he didn't feel too good externally. But when I asked him how he felt internally, he said, oh, I feel wonderful. I'm getting back that feeling I had a long time ago. So I'm not mocking American people, but he spoke in a nice American accent. And he told me basically that it had been a few years since he had that feeling inside that things were, were good. So his digestion had greatly improved, meaning less bloating, less gas, you know, bowel motions had, had cut down, he had more form stools. So what I look for, for a person, particularly a candida patient, if I'm helping, you know, someone restore their gut, I'm looking for signs that the function of the gut is starting to improve. I couldn't care less about the external part of the body, the skin. Most people, you know, in my industry know that people usually get worse on the outside but get better on the inside. People heal internally to the periphery, not the other way around. You can't smear steroid creams all over your body and expect the gut to get better. It doesn't work like that, I'm afraid. Heal the lining of the gut, particularly the small bowel. Once that improves and the well-being factor comes back, I've spoken about this well-being factor in other videos, meaning that you wake up and you feel reasonably good. It may only last an hour or two. It may last a day. And I call it the window being open. Okay, When you recover, increasingly recover, the window stays open for longer before it shuts. And then you'll feel really good for one or two days and you'll regress again. Bang. And you'll think, oh no, it's not working. I'm feeling terrible. I'm regressing. I'm not getting better. But then you keep on going and slowly but surely the window stays open for sometimes a week. Now, this is what I want you guys to think of. When we talked about that window and you were sick and you started to work on recovery, think back a while ago. How long was it since the window was open like that? And if you say, oh, it's been a long time. You know, I can't remember feeling like that for maybe six months or a year. That's the sign of recovery. Okay? The sign of recovery is when you feel inside different from how you used to feel. When the key indicators of health are improving, a little bit better sleep, a little bit better physical activity, a little bit better libido, smiling a little bit more, not so grumpy with people. It's the small indicators that become bigger indicators. But unfortunately, many, many people are impatient. They want to get better yesterday. They don't want to have to wait several weeks or months to get better. So I had another patient yesterday on Skype. Uh, I spoke with the patient's wife. And the patient was extremely impatient, very impatient, didn't want to wait, wanted to get better now, not interested, not interested in waiting at all, has to get better, very impatient. That tells me that the person's probably not really going to get better as fast as they would like. If they work through the emotional process of recovery as well as the physical, they'll understand that the emotions get affected, the physical body gets affected, the cognitive body gets affected, everything gets affected when you're recovering. All right? And it can throw a whole lot of different signs and symptoms up. So recovery is not an absence of symptoms. All right? Recovery means an inner sense of well-being. And if you're getting that now, it means that you're on the road to recovery. But how long that road is, there are many variables, and I can't give you that answer. Okay? All roads do lead to Rome, especially the recovery roads. But as you know, some roads are long. Some are short and some will take years. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for the question.